get to sleep on time just once. I would not have this problem every evening. Jeez, you'd think I'd be a grown-up person by now, but oh, no. Got to watch TV until 3 o'clock in the morning. That's very smart. May I come in? Oh, uh, sure, sure. I was just surprised to see you. You know, I'm a little bit surprised to see you, too. Why? I live here. Well, I, I thought you'd be at work. I thought Mrs. Grant would be here. Oh, no, she's out doing errands. I didn't have any appointments this morning, so I was going to stay home and get all kinds of things done. So I slept late. I'm glad you're here. So am I. What may I do for you? A favor? Sure. What? Do you remember the gun that Rick had? Is it still in the box in the hall closet? Rick's gun? Yes, is it still there? Why? Does he want it? No. Well, then why are you... I'm playing out a hunch. By what? Uh, the best way to help you understand is to say, if Heather is to be considered a suspect in the murder of Diana Taylor, where and when did she get the gun? Heather with Rick's gun? It was in that box in the hall closet when Heather was here, visiting over the Christmas holidays. Yeah, sure. Uh... I think we even talked about it once. And Heather was here. You think Heather... I do. Gracious. And the little box. It's gone. It's so good to see you. Oh, you where have you been? Oh, no, we'll get to that a little later, okay? We'll get to that. Uh, well, I, I know that Alex tried to come and see you at yeah. the mission, but you left with a couple policemen. Yeah. But then I called the police station, and they said that they had never even heard of you. Hey, now, where have you been? Hey, calm down, all right? Calm down, Luke, I can't. I have been worried sick about you. Look, okay, but as you can see, I'm fine. I'm clean-shaven. Everything's cool. Now, let's get on. Where have off. you been, though? Never mind that. Did you see Duval? Yes. All right, what did he say? I will answer it later, darling. What did Duval say? Not much, all right? Not much. I told him I quit my job at ELQ. I told him that I felt the Quartermains were keeping things from him. Yes, uh, that's what you said. What did he say? Well, I only did that so that I could try to gain his confidence, you know? Yes. Anyway, uh, I asked him about the Ice Princess, and he got really nervous, really, really edgy. But look, he was... He was so scared the whole time. I mean, he was, he was peeking out of the windows, and he was bolting his doors. And I really, I got the definite feeling that he's hiding something from me. What else did he say? Well, he did say that he was going to be leaving town soon. Where did he think he was going? Jamaica. But I, I think that's more of a dream than anything else. Anything else? No. No, he didn't say much. But I tried to make him think that, that I was his friend and that he could call me any time. I'll tell you something. She convinced him that she was his friend. I believe you. Oh, Lisa Johnson, you did good work. With <laughs> Thanks. All right, so Duval's leaving town. Now, everybody try to remember, was he at the auction? No way, no way. No, I didn't see him there. I didn't. But if he's involved... He's definitely involved, darling. I just wonder what he's done with the formula. What, what formula? Well, look, we can talk about it later. What, is it going to be a spy school now? Yeah. Mm. Look. What formula? Listen, Laura, when you were at Duval's apartment, did you ever see him working on equations, figures, anything like that? Equations? No. No, I, I didn't see anything like that. I just know there's a formula. Now, wait a second. What kind of formula? Look, Slick, I'll give you a rundown at some other time, all right? You can lay odds that it's not going to be a baby formula, right? Right. We have got to find out if Duval has this formula. Yeah. And how are we going to do that? Laura... I need Duval's address, and I, I don't have any time to waste. Yes, you do. What, wait, wait a minute. What's bugging you? What's bugging me? Yeah. You don't know what's bugging me? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, darling. I, 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 I can't hazard a guess. All right, then I'll tell you. Look, look, can all this wait? Look. No. I've got to have this address. The address can wait. L L L Laura, we have to be at Duval's apartment immediately. No. The address will have to wait until I get some answers. Um, hello, uh, th this is uh, Emma Lutz, uh, Mrs. Charles Lutz, the one from the art auction. Um, Mrs. Lutz? <laughs> I I'm afraid I don't remember. <laughs> well, look, I donated that statue to the art auction. Statue? Yes. Oh, look, I hope you don't hold it against me for getting mad at the auction that day. Oh, 
Oh, that, Mrs. Lutz. <laughs> yes, I remember now. Oh, good. I'm glad that you do, Mrs. Quartermain. Yes, I uh, recall that you were very rude, Mrs. Lutz. Look, I'm really sorry about that, and, and I do want to apologize. I see. Listen, I've got some really good news for you, and, uh, but first, I, I just want to repeat myself. I want to say that I'm really sorry for the way I behaved. Oh, well, that's all right. The orcs, the art auction's a thing of the past now. Uh, you said you have some good news? <laughs> yes, do I ever. Do you remember that black piece of art? You know, the statue? Um, yes, yes, I remember. You, you donated it, didn't you? Mm, I sure did. And I always say, you know, that art is the best way to help charity. You, uh, always say that? Yeah, I sure do. Uh, listen, but, uh, back to the black work of art, you know, the statue? I have it. What? Yeah. You have it? Yes, I do. But, but I thought that Luke Spencer stole it. Well, whatever happened... It's right here. It's right here in my apartment right now. It is? It sure is. And I've been thinking, Mrs. Quartermain, I mean, according to the newspapers and everything, I mean, everyone was bidding so high on my art donation. Yes, yes. Well? Uh, I was thinking that, uh, well, you see, I w I'd like to give it back to you over, like, a nice glass of sherry. Over a nice glass of sherry. Yeah, I thought that would be real nice. I mean, both of us being like art of, of fanciers and stuff. And, and, and I thought that we could get together like over a really nice glass of sherry. And then I'd give it back to you. Well, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Lutz. Uh, I really am rather busy just now. But, um, well, I tell you what. Give me your address and phone number and I'll get back to you. Right. Uh-huh. And your phone number, Mrs. Lutz. Right, fine. Thank you. I'll be talking to you. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, can you imagine that? What, well, Lila? Mrs. Lutz has found the black statue. No, you have put me off for the last time. Now, I want some answers. If you think that I'm going to marry a man who just pops in and out of my life whenever it's convenient for him, you're wrong. Will you be reasonable, please? <laughs> uh, reasonable? Any more reasonable, and I would be an idiot. Now, look, if you've got no time, you've got no address. I want to know, why is Robert Scorpio here? And, and what's that lady outside? I mean, where is she anyway? Look, she's back out in the hall, and her name is Mrs. O'Reilly. Hey, well, what was she doing out there in the first place, and why is she out there now? Why is he here now? It's a very long story. I can't go into it. Robert has helped me hold, a lot. Hold on. I'm just, I'm a friend of the family. Let's just, just leave it at that Robert, for the moment. Robert, why are you here? Look, all I can say is that, that I'm an agent. What? Yeah, well, uh, in your language, you're kind of a G-man. And look, I'm working on something very important concerning the Ice Princess and a formula. And if it falls into the wrong hands, there's a lot of trouble. Now, you remember, I told you this guy named Tony Castle. He's really Cassidy. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, yes, I know. You told me that. And, and now Robert Scorpio is a secret agent. And there is a secret formula. And, uh, right, Cassidyne is really Castle. Yeah, I got it all. Okay. Look, 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 I'm on. This is all quick and really confusing. Yeah, at the now, moment. wait a minute. What about my mother? No, I... And this Cassidyne guy, is he dangerous? L I told you before, I don't think the guy is going to be dangerous to your mother, but it would be a very good idea if you went to your mother and you told her to keep away from this guy she calls Tony Castle. Oh, and just like that, huh? Laura, uh, Laura, listen. The cops that picked me up at the mission, they were not real cops. They were Cassidyne's men. Oh. All right, fine. I'll tell her. Uh, Great. Good girl. Good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now we need uh, Duval's address? Uh, right. It's um, 1620 West Grand, uh, apartment M. Please be apartment careful. Hey, careful is my middle name. You know that? Okay, come on. Let's go. Uh -huh. One more kiss for luck, huh? I'll make it a big one. You're going to need a lot of luck. Uh, listen, can you save this for your wedding night? Let's get out of here, all right? Give the kids a break. They like each other. What does it mean, little kids? Please, Let them have be it. careful. I said, Please. careful's my middle name. Go, go, go. Come on. Let me get my... Uh, Thank you, baby. This 
Mrs. Lutz had that black statue? Yes, she said it was in her apartment right now. And you know, I thought that Luke Spencer stole it, but somehow or other it's turned up in Mrs. Lutz's apartment. Oh, how strange, Lila. Oh, very strange. Oh dear, will this auction never end? Hi, Laura. Hi, Amy. Well, you haven't been around much lately. Where have you been? Who's that lady with you? Would you like to wait in the lounge? Uh, yeah, I think I will. I'll tell you here as soon as I see her. All right, thanks, Georgia. All right. So your mom and dad are both doctors, huh? Yep. You aren't going to follow in their footsteps? I'm oh, afraid not. Oh, well, you probably have your hands full trying to track Luke. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> I'll tell you something, honey. You're very lucky. You've got yourself quite a guide there. <laughs> Thank you. He's got a lot of swashbuckling adventure in him. That's what I love. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wish that he were a little bit more pipe and slippers, you nah, know? I don't believe that for a minute, honey. But there's one thing you have to remember. Don't try to put a leash on him. I mean, he needs room. Tell me about it. His kind, I know they've caused you trouble and things like that, but when you're in love and you have disappointments and heartaches, Luke's worth it. After all, he wasn't stamped out by some cookie cutter. Oh, well, that's for sure. He's one of a kind, yeah. all right. You know something, honey? That reminds me of a song. What song? Oh, it's a song that's long before your time, but there's two lines I'd like for you to remember. What are they? I'm not known as a golden throat, but I'll try. Okay. Let's see. A good man is hard to find. You'll always get the other kind. Oh, now, don't laugh. All I'm trying to say, baby, is this. If Luke is the right person for you, and I know he must be, you got to treat him good. You know why? why? Because it's true. You can't live happily forever after. Thanks. I'm so glad you're here. Hi. I've been calling you. I've been trying to reach you. Why? What's up? Uh, I've got news for you. What is it? Um, Hutch is here. They brought him in. The prognosis is good. Speak to Alexandria Quartermain, please. Oh, no, no, Wendy Spector. No, 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 no,
the prisoner were poisoned. Poisoned? Yeah, the prison doctor really saved their lives. They brought them here because we're better equipped to deal with that sort of problem. How could that have happened? I mean, they were supposed to protect Hutch. I know, I know. But they knew that he was in danger. They knew that something like that was going to happen. I mean, what's the matter with them? Are those officials totally incompetent or what? Well, or are they just as crooked as the cons that they're supposed to be? Laura, I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Well, how was he poisoned? I was told it was a combination of arsenic and digitalis in the coffee. Oh, a combination like that, it could... It could kill a horse. He's lucky to be alive. Well, how is he now? Is he going to come through this... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's okay. It's just going to take some time for him to recuperate fully, that's all. Can I see him? No, no, nobody can see either one of them. They're both unconscious. Is that a friend of yours? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Mother. It's just that uh, I have the news about Hutch. Mother, this is Mrs. O'Reilly. This is my mother, Dr. Leslie Weber. Well, hi, you? Dr. Weber. How are you? Have we met? Oh, heck no, I don't think so, because if I had, I'd remembered you. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm sure, yes, I would have. Uh, you know something? Oh, Your sorry. daughter is beautiful. Yes. Just a beautiful yes, girl. thank you. <laughs> Um, could I just impose on you for a minute? I have to talk to her just a minute long. You know, family. Oh, that's Jake. <laughs> Jake who? Jake, Jake who? That's good. Oh, oh Jake. Th that means it's all right with me. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I'll see you later then, okay? I've heard that, yes. Come and talk to me, my child. All right. Okay, where have you been? Um, I've been here waiting for you. No, 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 I don't mean now. I mean earlier. I tried to call you a half a dozen times. You weren't home, where were you? I've been real busy. Busy. That's all. Oh, are you kidding? It's been plenty. Uh-huh. Why are we being a little bit mysterious? I'm, I'm not trying to be mysterious, Mother. Um, please, you've got to listen to me. I've got something very important that I have to tell you. Oh, goody. What? What I'm going to say, it may strike you as, as being a, a bit strange. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Try me. Just try me and see how really well I react. Please. Try to understand. Just as soon as you tell me something. Mother, it's just that this is going to come as a big surprise to you. I think the only surprise is if I'm going to hear anything here. Fine, fine. You can't see Tony Castle anymore. What? You can't. Mother, he's dangerous. He is a dangerous man. You should not be mixed up with him. You're not really serious, are I you? I am serious. I've never been more serious in my life. Why are you saying this? I can't explain everything. I... I tell you, I know that he's, uh... He's an international wheeler dealer. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Well, he's involved with the Quartermains, okay? In some... Some very bad things. He's involved with the Quartermains? The Quartermains, you know, and the way they've been acting lately and, and the things that they're mixed up in. That's why I left my job, Mother. Wait, 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 wait. Who has been telling you these things about Tony? Luke. Luke. And I'm just supposed to take Luke's word for this. Mother, just because you don't like Luke is no reason to I have to told you six million times I do not dislike Luke. I don't know Luke. I don't think we should talk about this right now. I think we should. Why? Because I am trying to warn you about a man who's very dangerous. But you won't tell me why. You won't tell me why anything. Mother. You won't tell me why you quit your job. You won't tell me why I have to stop seeing a perfectly marvelous man who has always Mother. been absolutely lovely to me just because Luke says so. I suppose I'm supposed to take it as gospel just because Luke has done such a whiz-bang job of running his own life. Don't you talk about Luke like that. Mother, will you please Please, just try to understand. Understand what? Listen to me. Listen to me for a minute. I am listening to you. You're not saying anything. I cannot do this, Laura. I have to work here. Mother, come on. Calm down. I know who you are. You're the woman from the auction. You're the woman that Luke locked in that mummy case. Mom, that was a mistake. That just, that just happened by accident. I can't deal with this. I cannot deal with any of this. Thank you. 
Disappointed in your mother not believing anything you told her. You know, not buying any of it. But, honey, I really can't blame her. She is absolutely furious with me. And I have got to find some way to convince her about Cassidy. Then you and I will have to come up with something. Okay, okay. Look, but I, I've, got, I've got some things I've got to do right now. And I want to be alone. Uh, I'm sorry, kid. But from now on, you and I are sticking together like the Siamese twins. In other words, like glue. Please, I really have got to be alone right now. Exactly what is it you have to be alone for, Laura? I'm going to go over to Duval's apartment. Uh -uh. Look, if you want to come along with me, that's fine. No, I'm not going over there. I'm going there, and that's that. Uh. I'm afraid not, kid. There is no way I'm going to allow you to go over there. Will you please stop being so stubborn? Stubbornness has nothing to do with it, Laura. It just so happens, honey, I've grown fond of it. You're a real nice kid, and I want to be nice to you. Then let me do it my way. I just can't. Look, why don't you do what Luke and Scorpio asked you to do? Come with me. Where? Well, I found a nice, safe little spot. Some place where you can get a good night's sleep. Oh, please. Honey, I can't. It's my job to look after you, and I'm going to do just that. Please come with me. You're not giving me much choice. <clears throat> I'm not giving you any choice. But believe me, it's for your own good. Thank you. All right. I knew you'd do it. You're a mighty good kid. slept at all. Oh, I don't understand. Why did we have to sleep in the basement? Honey, because Luke and Scorpio got the communications room. It's just too small for all of us. Besides, it's too dangerous for us to be seen together. The communications room? Well, the point is, honey, it's much easier for you and I to get around. I mean, Cassidyne's thugs are after them, and it's just a matter of time before they're going to start coming after us. Oh. But come on, sweetheart, you got to get up and get Wait. yourself going. Come on. Why? Where are we going? Oh, well, we're going to Kelly's diner. Oh, are we going to go out for breakfast? Oh, my little pal, you're not awake yet. Remember, we promised Slick we'd help him. We've got to get that Lutz guy over to the <gasps> Kelly's diner so he can identify the jacket with the missing button. Now, you awake, honey? Yeah. Come on, pull yourself together. Oh, yeah. Don't stumble. Oh, get yeah. your purse. Just be careful. We'll get some coffee when we get over there, honey. Come on now. Come on, you've got to be awake. Come on, away. Come on away. Do me a favor. Call Charlie Lutz. Call who? Charlie Lutz. I got his number right here. Wait a second. Why do I want to call Charlie Lutz? <laughs> i tell you why. Because the coat we've been watching, that may be Charlie's coat. Call him up oh. and tell him to come down. Wait a second. Here, call him. Mrs. Lutz? This is Alexandria Quartermain. I cannot tell you how eager we are to see you and to pick up the statue. Oh, look, I'm really sorry that I couldn't give it to you last night when you came over, but you see, my husband was just... Uh... Yeah, well, how would it be if we came over right now? Oh, gee, I don't know. Now, we wouldn't really take up much of your time, and we are so looking forward to thanking you in person. Uh, it is all right, isn't it? Yes, I'd really be charmed to have you, I'm sure. Wonderful. We'll be right over. Oh, wait, just a minute. I mean, Mrs. Lila Quartermain's coming over, too, isn't she? Oh, she wouldn't dream of missing any chance to tell you in person how much she appreciates your thoughtfulness. 
Oh, gee, that's really great. Well, look, I'll really be delighted to have you, but can you just give me a few minutes, I mean, to clean up, I mean, to prepare, you know? Because I'd like to put some tea on for you. Mrs. Quartermain likes tea, doesn't she? Oh, she adores her morning tea. Oh, well, I just figured she would. So I'll tell you what, I'll put the kettle on right now. Fine, you'll be there before you can boil the water. <laughs> Good morning, Rose. Good morning. Uh, thank you so much for letting my mother use the back way. Uh, that's uh, that's okay. That's quite all right. It's easy on, on her, you know. Uh, I think we'll just take our usual table. Yeah, sure, thank go you. ahead. Thank you, dear. Well, uh, look, Mother, there's a friend of ours. <laughs> what is it, Halloween? You recognized us. <laughs> recognized you? Are you kidding? What, do you look like two sumo wrestlers? It's the best we could come up with, Slick. Any news oh, from boy. Woods? Any news? Yeah. No, luck no news him? at all. No luck at all. We've been calling and calling, and it's busy, and it's busy, and it's busy. But I'll tell you one thing. If that coat does belong to Charlie Lutz, we're going to know where that statue is. We don't know anything yet. Yeah, we do. We know one thing. We know the woman on that telephone hey. line has got to, to talk a mic. Hey. Hey. Do you have to keep doing that? You're really driving me crazy. <sighs> I gotta do something to keep from driving myself crazy, okay? Slick, you're too uptight. You gotta learn to do some deep breathing. Oh, why don't you do some deep breathing? I don't want to do any deep breathing. What good is it gonna do for me? Well, it keeps the oxygen flowing and the uh, blood pressure down, and at your age, you ought to be thinking about that. At my age? Uh -huh. At my... Look who's talking. What, 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 are you going to a prom? I went last year. Oh, uh, wonderful. Keep it up, O'Reilly. Keep it up. I want to tell you something. What, kid? Our friendship is, is gonna be... It's not gonna last too long, you know that? Uh -huh. Neither are you if you don't calm down. I don't want to calm down, you understand me? I don't want to calm down. I've been watching a coat for nine months. Excuse me, guys, I get a little excited. Something in the family. I don't want to calm down. You calm down. You know something? You're going to have a stroke if you don't calm down. Now, look, let me teach you how to deep breathe, Slick. I don't want to breathe. You've been breathing for a long time, a very right. long time, but it's just been the wrong kind of breathing. Well, you two just cut it out. Now, listen, why don't we just go over to this guy's place? Honey, we can't just go busting in without a reason. Oh, yeah? Well, we got to think of something better than sitting around here and trying to take breathing lessons from you. Look, oh, guys, it's Charlie Lutz on the phone. Oh, he's at some union hall or something like that, but he's going to come over real soon. Oh, terrific. All we got to do now is kind of keep our fingers crossed that that's his coat. Personally, I'm going to say a prayer. And now? Now? Did I forget something? Emma, mm -hmm. the statue. The statue. Oh, oh, oh the, the statue. Where, where is the statue? <laughs> oh, gee, you know, in all the success. Excitement, Alex. I forgot all about it, but hang on right there. I'm going to get it for you. I always throw it in here with all this other junk. Well, here it is. It's all yours. I can't believe this. $3,000 in the name of Emma Lutz. I just can't believe it. Oh, neither can I. It's finally in my... Thank <laughs> you.